My name is Christian Barth. I'm a key account manager at Rotenberger, and I'm responsible for the refrigeration and air conditioning sector. Today, I will show you how to create professional flares. In order to be able to create professional flares, I need a tube cutter and a deburrer, in addition to my flaring equipment. In a refrigeration circuit, there are various components. These components are connected to each other by copper piping. One way of connecting them is the so-called flaring. When flaring, it must be ensured that the copper tube is first cut straight with a tube cutter. After cutting, the tube must be clearly deburred. After deburring, the copper tube is clamped in the corresponding die. The copper tube should protrude about 1 to 2 millimeters from the upper edge of the matrix. There are notches on the matrix. The counterpart to the notches is the arrow on the body of the flaring tool. Now the flaring tool is placed on the matrix. After checking that the flaring tool is correctly positioned against the notches, the flaring tool is clamped. Now the flaring can begin. The reeling cone is turned into our copper tube until the flaring tool ratchets over. Then one to two more turns are made to straighten the tube. The cone is then turned out completely. Then the flaring tool is removed from the matrix. The matrix is opened. And the flare can be checked for impurities on the inside. If the flare has not been clearly deburred, we would now find burr residues pressed into the inner surface of the tube, which would negatively affect the tightness. The counterpart is then taken and the size of the flare is checked. If the flare is too large or too small, it can be removed by cutting close to the flare with the tube cutter, and a new flare can be made after deburring again. Another flaring device from the Rotenberger family is the row flare revolver. The preparation of the copper tube is identical to the reeling flaring tool. However, the arrangement of the matrices is different than that of the reeling flaring tool. In the row flare revolver, the matrices are arranged as in a revolver. This means that the size of the jaws can be changed by rotating the matrix. In the inch version, jaws from one quarter inch to three quarter inch are included. There is also a metric version, which ranges from six to 18 millimeters. When working with a three eighth inch copper pipe, both matrices are set to three eighth inch. The tube is then pushed into the bottom stop and the row flare revolver is clamped. When the tube is compressed, the spacer plate automatically slides away, releasing the cone for flaring. Now, turn the handle until the slip clutch engages. A cracking sound is heard. After the cracking sound, the flaring tool is turned another two to three turns to smooth the inner surface of the tube. Then the flaring tool is opened completely and the tube is removed. A standard flare has been created. If the flare does not meet the desired quality or size, it can be removed with a cut close to the flare through the recesses in the guide roller of the tube cutter. To do this, the flare is placed in the recess. The tube can then be cut off as usual. The advantage of the flare cut is that only approximately 5 millimeters of the tube is cut off, and not several centimeters as with a conventional tube cutter. In another tutorial, we will show you the torque wrench. Thanks for watching.